Hey, what's going on, everybody? Well, thanks for dropping by. My name is Derek, and today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about um, the first month full cell classes called Creative Presentation for Digital Cinematography. Um, so, So in this class, um, I'm going to go ahead and look at the notes here. Um, some of the things I expected from this class were to, I don't know, being that it was called creative presentation, was to be able to enlighten me on better ways to be creative and present work that I want to do. And it did just that. Although... I did um, kind of learn a lot of this stuff over the past two years, so you only only got a small, small tiny bit out of it. But that small tiny bit was a pretty much huge impact. So I can only imagine if I had started in this class and I knew nothing, it would have been mind blowing. So going from knowing nothing to um, Learning the things I learned in this class would have been great. Anybody who is coming fresh off the street for this class would really get a lot out of it. Um, I really appreciated it. Uh, it was hard for me. And the only reason it was hard for me was because I started two major things the same week at the same exact time. And... I've been doing both consistently since that day. So it made it extremely hard for me. If it hadn't been for that, I think this class would have been really easy. Um, even without knowing anything, it would have been really easy because the time you have available to get stuff done is ample. But when you <laughs> get stuck in a situation like I did, it's not it's not the same. It's it's quite a bit different. But um, my biggest takeaway was learning about the hail method and tonal range and, you know, how you should stand and with confidence and speak. So it was interesting because I never really thought about, you know, public speaking type of style talking to make videos and how you need to speak to reach your audience and get them to pay attention to you. So I think that was the biggest thing I got out of this class. As far as the requirements of the class, I know on the few assignments, I was always missing one thing. And I think with all the things I had going on for this whole month that happened just all at once, I was in the taking on a bunch of learning from multiple avenues that I didn't expect and you know kind of kind of made me not meet requirements at 100% you know I'd always be missing one little detail but I still had a high enough score to get an A or a B but the thing is it's it'd be great to get 100 or at least 98% no one's perfect but to get closest to an A or A plus is um, the ideal and it is pretty easy to do if you're not overwhelmed with a lot more I think learning some of the skills in this class um, going through this class first first felt really hard it, I kind of thought to myself why this one first why not something a little more pertaining to what I came to school for. But then I thought by the time I get to those subjects, if I don't know some of these things, it might not, it might be really hard to follow through with tasks the way I'm requested to, especially since I have to learn more than just how to pick up a camera and film a video. But, um,
So with my next few classes, I have this idea of how to speak and how to look at things. So when I'm approached with another class, I won't go into it such uh, with such a blind vision. I'll kind of be like, OK, so when I'm doing this assignment, can I apply some of these things I learned in my first class for the first month? And I believe I can. I think they so far they have it structured very well um, for anybody who's starting off. And uh, yeah, so let's review some of the things that were done. So the classes for, well, not the classes, but the assignments for each week for creative presentation. Um, week one was introduction to creative presentation. And week two was planning a presentation. So we pretty much learned how to plan um, something that you want to present, say like a public speaking topic or a video, like a short story if you wanted to. Um, we went through the process of trying to plan out how we were going to say what we wanted to say. And then by week three, we were doing our first draft of what we wanted to say. So if we wanted to say something about like a pitch or make a resume pitch to um, a potential client or employer. We were we planned it in the second week and we pitched our first initial idea in the third week. And by the fourth week, we were given feedback from our third week that we could apply to our fourth week. We applied the feedback from third week to the fourth week and made adjustments to make a better presentation to, you know, final it all, you know, finalize what we had come up with. And I think it was pretty cool. I actually had the opportunity to improve my fourth week a lot more than what it was for the third week even though it still didn't meet my own personal expectations I think I did all right there's a lot of other things I wish I could have done for my presentation but being that it's the first month and it was only it's you know only the fourth week later down the line I know I'll have the opportunity again to do a little better and then I also have the materials and tools to do even better than I did now so I guess I can be patient and take what I've done now as good enough. And hopefully it's good enough. Hopefully at least if I was, as long as I get a B, I'm good. <coughs> I'm shooting for a 100. But if I get a B, I won't be mad. And here's why. Because I know I'm passing and I know I did good as long as I got to be. But that tells me I also have a lot of room to improve and I can if I already feel like I could have done better and I got to be that I know next time I will do all those things that I knew I could have done to be better. I'll push harder for those. And if I get a 100 and I feel like I could have done better, I just know what I was able to give was my best, but I can be even better and more blown more more blown away to other people with what I can create beyond that so it just gives kind of puts me my mind in a level of what I can do better you know but anyways thank you guys for dropping by um this seems like it's going to be kind of a regular thing making these types of videos I made a video at the beginning the first after the first week after I turned in my first assignment and that day, that week was so hard that I don't even know what I said that day. But going forward, I'm going to try to make this a regular thing. And if this is part of the assignments like this today is, then I will definitely, I will definitely be doing these at the end of every month. Thank you for stopping by and watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.